I have had the pleasure of uh, working extensively <coughs> with uh, Professor Ajigi since she uh, arrived on the scene uh, with apocalyptic force uh, <laughs> from three or four years ago. And uh, we've developed uh, uh, a close and clearly defined relationship uh, that's coordinate, if not symbiotic. Uh, she corrects my English, and I correct her French, and she makes requests, and I write checks. <laughs> we had her clean rooms arranged in the, in, as I said, in the main building, and she spotted the, the uh, fourth floor again, overlooking the lake and with views of uh, downtown Chicago when the weather's nice. She decided that she wanted her clean rooms up there, and we had a very distinguished faculty member with a, a uh, electronic materials program, Bruce Wessels, who's sitting here, who was very kind enough to give up several thousand square feet. <laughs> what it did set out to do was to attract Professor Rosigi to Northwestern. And as uh, Jerry indicated, that was a non-trivial affair. She has become known locally as the $6 million woman. <laughs> uh, there is a familiar biblical prophecy that says the uh, meek shall inherit the earth. Uh, Manja is probably the uh, finest living counterexample that I, uh, I know. That <laughs> She's established a new tradition in the university. And uh, this is a multicultural one of uh, serving champagne and bagels at the least provocation. <laughs> one of our, our goals is to try to develop enterprises that generate first-class science uh, that in particular has high potential for application to significant problems. And I can't think of a better example uh, as an illustration uh, of this. Uh, we're extremely pleased. Uh, and highly supportive of the center's developments. Uh, we're proud of having Professor Rizigi at Northwestern. We thank you all for uh, traveling, some I appreciate from considerable distance, to join us in participating uh, in this inaugural workshop. We wanted to, to get a strong device, gr device person here, and it took three years really to, uh, to identify and bring Rizigi here. And uh, it was really, during the process, was quite long and uh, uh, I wouldn't say without pain, and it was, the, at the end of it, the department really became poor, but very famous. As chairman of EECS, I would like to add my thanks to all of you for coming here from all over the world, and it's really a most impressive collection of researcher, and it is a tribute to uh, Manisha that she managed to invite you, to get you all to come here. Uh, I know she's very, very persuasive. I counted uh, more than 90 attendees. Uh, again, if I forget your institution, uh, my apologies, I, don't, I didn't count exactly, but we have MIT, Cornell, Michigan, Illinois, uh, Santa Barbara, USC, UCLA, University of Cincinnati, Tsukuba University, Max Planck Institute, uh, Orsay University, uh, Motorola, Amoco, Hewlett Packard, Microcore, McDonnell Douglas, Coping Corporation, TRW, AT&T Bell Labs, Intivac, Matheson, BioRad, Morton, Thompson, CSF, uh, NTT, and uh, all agencies. I couldn't really remember all. I know there was R a Navy, Air Force, uh, Pentagon, and uh, I, if I forgot any, uh, my apologies. Who? DARPA, of course, yeah. Well, the theory of relativity is right. Uh, 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 I knew that uh, Professor Ezeghi moved with velocity of light, and one of the results of that is uh, that there is time contra contraction. Uh, my speech was supposed to be 40 minutes, then it became 20, 30, then it became 25, now it is 20. So, so things are in, 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 a, in a relativistic time frame. But, uh, <laughs> I decided to come only to, to, to convince uh, uh, Professor Azegi, that I don't hold it against her that uh, she did not come to Bell Labs when it tried to have Certainly, this is a, a good example. You, you have the high quality materials, which uh, probably hope <coughs> that Madame Razegi will produce, and also you have a very precise uh, uh, microfabrication technique. Of course, you need brain. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ellen Dorbatla and I'm the program manager in the Defense Sciences Office. As uh, Dr. Meridian mentioned, the utility of the laser is inversely proportional to its size. So we call her 
Plastic Laser Technology Development Compact Lasers. Oh, good afternoon. I'll try to get this talk going. I tend to talk fast, so it shouldn't be a problem for time. I'm going to talk today about a collaboration with, I had recently uh, between uh, Northwestern University, Copen Corporation, and Wright Laboratory. Well, I want to thank Professor Rajigi for inviting me here. It's certainly an honor and privilege to be able to come to you today and talk to you briefly about the Army Research Office, where I've been a program manager for a couple of years now. Good afternoon. And, uh, I'm one of uh, Professor Rajigi's uh, sponsors, and I'm very happy to have become the sponsor. Actually, uh, some of the prerequisites to obtain government contract is uh, first, you have to be Iranian, and the second, you have to be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to uh, thank uh, Manage for inviting me to tell you about very, very small quantum structures. Uh, these quantum structures are only seven angstrom, less than one uh, uh, nanometer. And um, I'd like to thank, uh, again, uh, Manage and uh, collaborators. I figured out how much time I had, 20 minutes, and all the things I wanted to say, which is three topics, there was only one solution, is to talk faster than the hair. So it means talking at a rate of roughly two viewgraphs per minute. Now I'd like you to, to introduce you again to the uh, six million dollar woman. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's now seven million dollars. <laughs> Dr. Riziki. I will ask a question from uh, Yunsu Park because the contract that they didn't sign yet, they are asking for the final results. It means that to see all of the results that we did even before to have the money from agencies. All, all of them signed. Thank you very much. Again, we are going to have champagne. Jerry, you have to give that. <laughs> Thank you again. <laughs> so, this meeting, the creation of our activity center for quantum device, it was impossible without the original vision of Northwestern University. Indeed, the importance of uh, such kind of meeting is judging by the people who attend. Accordingly, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Leo Ezaki and Dr. Von Klitzny for accepting the position of honorary chair in this meeting. My group Myself, we would like to welcome you again and to say that all of them, they are here for to help you. And during the two days, if you need any help, you can uh, contact one of us. And I have to say, everything that we did is thanks to the excellent group, and especially Professor Evan Vigian, that without the help and the permanent work of them, it was impossible to do anything.